What if JFK was still alive today? The assassination of John F. Kennedy on November 22nd, 1963 is one of the most impactful moments in human history, with many who were alive at the time still remembering the exact moment and where they were when they heard the news that the 35th President of the United States had been shot and killed in Dallas, Texas. It changed the course of American history right in the middle of one of the most important decades, and thus impacted the entire world in multiple ways regarding to race, the war in Vietnam, and countless other social issues that were reaching a crescendo during the 60s. However, given how much was going on during the decade, it can be incredibly hard to predict exactly how much would have changed by removing one of the most influential moments of American history. So today, we're going to be trying to break down the possibilities and the most likely outcomes if John F. Kennedy had survived all the way up until 2021. When you have such a pivotal moment in history, sometimes you need to ask just what would have happened if we pivoted the other way. One of the biggest questions revolving around JFK's survival is how this would have impacted the war in Vietnam. Following JFK's death, Lyndon Johnson oversaw a huge escalation into how many ground troops were committed to Vietnam, a war that in our current timeline, America was destined to lose. So the question has always been whether JFK would also have been so aggressive with the Vietnam War or whether Lyndon Johnson's aggression came as a result of his predecessor being murdered. Some conspiracy theorists would even claim that JFK might have been assassinated because he was planning to lower tensions with Vietnam and attempt to be less aggressive in that theater of war. There are experts on each side of the debate of whether the Vietnam War would have been better or worse with JFK getting a second term, but many do seem to favor the idea that JFK himself was more willing to pull out of Vietnam than his successor wound up being. The day before JFK traveled to Dallas, one of his notes called for his staff to do an in-depth study on every possible option in Vietnam, including how to get out of there. Furthermore, if JFK had survived, he likely would have won a second term in office, which would have granted him more political freedom as a Democrat than he would have had during his first term, given that he no longer had to worry about running for re-election. Because of this, he'd be able to make a bolder decision like pulling out of Vietnam after already committing troops there and thus potentially saving thousands of lives. This in turn would cause multiple effects throughout American history that would be a lot harder to judge. For example, if the war in Vietnam was ended far sooner and no extreme escalation occurred with the draft, the counterculture or hippie movement would have much less to fight against or at least would have had to have their energy focused in a different direction other than the anti-Vietnam war sentiment that was so essential to the identity in the 60s. Without an active anti-war movement, hippie culture would be tremendously different, and this would have far-reaching implications throughout all of America, and indeed, the world's artistic output. Do we still have the same types of music, art, and movies if the entire cultural movement happening during the decade of the 60s has changed? Do you have the Beatles and other musical artists embracing the hippie lifestyle and becoming much more involved in the psychedelic scene or does a different cultural focus push all of popular music in a different direction? This is to say nothing about how the civil rights movement would have been affected, as its ties to the counterculture at the time and Lyndon Johnson's personal interest in the issue all played huge roles in how the 60s actually played out and could have gone in a million different directions if the entire culture of the 60s wound up being different. Now, many people assume that if John F. Kennedy had survived his assassination attempt, he would have retained the youthful energy and optimism that had made him such a popular politician long into the future. However, the reality of JFK's health while he was in office was actually much different than the public was led to believe at the time, with multiple reports in the decades following JFK's death revealing that he actually suffered from multiple ailments that must have caused him great pain and suffering during his tenure as president, such as Addison's disease, frequent ulcers, and a particularly nasty case of colitis. JFK often had to take medical injections to deal with the pain and keep his mind lucid during periods of intense fatigue and pain, such as during the 12 days of chaos that made up the Cuban Missile Crisis. Alongside this, JFK was also frequently required to utilize a back brace in order to help with tremendous back pain that he often had, which may have been caused by an over-reliance on steroids to treat his other ailments. It's even been speculated that this back brace might have 
contributed to JFK's assassination, as the neck part of the brace is believed to have kept the president from slumping over after the first bullet hit and allowed the second bullet to be a direct hit to the head. All of this is to say that even if JFK hadn't been attacked or had survived his assassination attempt somehow, there's a high likelihood that he may not even have been able to finish his second term, let alone continue being an active politician through the 70s, 80s, and beyond. If John F. Kennedy was still alive today, he would be 104 years old, a very impressive age for any human being to live for, especially someone who has dealt with so many recurring health issues throughout his life. Not to be too much of a downer, but there's a very high likelihood that even if JFK hadn't been assassinated while in office, he might be known as a politician that eventually had to step down from his post due to hiding his health issues from his constituents, until the point he could not perform his duties any longer. And while it's debatable on how honest the president or indeed any political figure should be with the public about their own private health matters, it still would color the world's impression of JFK much differently than the youthful energy and vigor he was known for while he was alive. If he was still alive in 2021, he would no longer be a powerful political force. He would likely occupy the same role as other elderly and retired presidents, occasionally attending ceremonies, but without remaining powerful or influential within the Democratic Party. In fact, if JFK had survived his assassination attempt, our entire perspective on him as a president might be entirely different. As we said, JFK's personal health and demeanor were eventually revealed to be much different from the hopeful image he gave off while in office. And much of the legend or awe surrounding the 35th president is because of this sense of lost potential. Nobody knows how JFK's second term or future as a politician would have turned out because his story was ended just when it seemed like it was getting started. We can wonder about all the great things or changes that might have been accomplished without his death, but there might be an alternate world where JFK just wound up being a disappointing and boring president without the myth-making of his assassination to give him larger than life status. The fact that we never got a proper ending to JFK's story in reality makes it that much easier for people to speculate as to what ending was deserved or would have happened if history had played out differently. History is a fascinating topic to discuss, especially whenever we get into hypotheticals like what if this happened or what if this person survived. There may be areas where people disagree on what changes would have occurred throughout history, but at the end of the day, we're stuck in the timeline we're in, and these hypotheticals are best used to get us to appreciate and understand the history that's led us all to where we are today in 2021. Would the world be a better place with John F. Kennedy still in it, or would history have taken a much darker turn? We can only speculate, but if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let us know down in the comments what you think the world would be like with a still living JFK. As always, I've been Josh Busker, and this has been Life's Biggest Questions.